Hello and welcome to my Metro Exodus Bastard Guide. So the Bastard is a submachine gun that shoots pistol rounds. Now this seems like a decent thing because most submachine guns do shoot pistol rounds. However, this submachine gun shoots 44 magnum rounds. Uh, the big downside of this is the crafting cost of 44 magnum rounds is much higher than that of the Kalosh rounds. So the Kalosh and the Bastard are extremely similar in a lot of ways, except the Kalosh is more consistent, accurate, and has higher base damage, and, and generally outclasses the Bastard. Uh, same thing with the Bulldog, which you get in the Caspian. Uh, once, you, once you get to the Caspian, there's really no reason to run the Bastard, as the Bulldog is just so much better than the Bastard, and it uses the same ammo as the Kalosh, that you would have to be, you know, like intentionally playing in a suboptimal way. Uh, to justify continued use of the bastard. However, if you want to play for fun and you want to just go for headshots, it, it can be run and it can be viable. Uh, so the big downside of the bastard is when you are not going for headshots, it does burn through ammunition pretty quickly, and by default you can only carry 60 rounds of the magnum ammo. Uh, the reason for this is the magnum ammo seems to be balanced around the pistol, which is more like a rifle. Uh, the, the pistol has pretty high base damage, and its headshots are pretty substantial, and especially as you approach endgame, you can get like the 8-shot cylinder, and it has a good fire rate, and it feels more like a semi-automatic rifle. So the fact that the Bastard shares ammunition with a more powerful single-shot weapon, uh, unfortunately, limits the Bastard, because the Bastard needs ammo to be effective, and you can use like controlled bursts and kill dudes uh, using like stealth or just being like patience, but you're probably better off using the Kalosh because the ammo is just cheaper to craft. Uh, so the ammo cost, the crafting cost is 12 metal and 6 chemical for 6 rounds. Uh, so that's like, that's like a 2 to 1 ratio of metal to bullet and a 1 to 1 ratio of chemical to bullet. And for the Kalosh, it's 30 uh, metal and 10 chemical for 30 rounds. So that is a one to one metal ratio. And for the chemical, it's a 0.33 to one like chemical to bullet ratio. So the Kalosh, like if you want an automatic weapon that can one shot headshot like humanoids, the Kalosh is it. The bastard can be used, uh, but its ammo is much more expensive to craft and this is going to hurt your your craft economy over time. Uh, I am running it in this playthrough I'm doing in uh, Ranger Hardcore just for fun, uh, like in the one I'm playing through right now. But overall, it's not it's not a bad weapon. It's just that the ammo is expensive to craft, and you can run it if you're careful. And like the way you'd have to use it is you want to use uh, the heavy barrel, which I just showed getting there, and then here's the 30 round uh, clip. So the heavy barrel is right near the Aurora as soon as you start. So if you want to use the bastard. Uh, go back through that clip that I just showed of acquiring the heavy barrel, and then just go get it. And then the 30 round magazine that I just showed acquiring is right near Duke's little outpost. Uh, it is in a lurker nest, so be aware of that. There's a bunch of lurkers lurking about that will attack you. Uh, the bastard without the heavy barrel is actually quite weak against beasts. Like, even if you get like four or five headshots on them, it won't even kill them for the most part. So, your best bet for taking out beasts is to just like stealth throw knife them or use the a shot or something like that or the shambler eventually uh, so here's some of the upgrades you can get uh, some of the better upgrades heavy stock heavy barrel the silencer can be good if you want to take out humans but you're probably better off going with the kalosh uh, you should never run this weapon with the pistol because the bastard will chew through pistol ammo so if you want to use the bastard i would recommend running the kalosh or a shotgun with it uh, i can also use the t-car uh, for like stealth kills if you want to have like a bastard you use out in the open but you should never run this with the pistol uh, so overall I would say the bastard is a good weapon and it is viable it is prone to jamming when it's dirty so one way to keep it clean is to almost never fall into like mud or water and holster your weapon or just like have a different weapon equipped while you're exploring your active weapon accumulates the most dirt so one way to mitigate this is to both holster your weapon or not even have it out. So for example, if you have like an A-shot with you and you never want to use it really, you can just have your A-shot equipped and then switch to your bastard when you actually want to kill things. Um, you could always use the A-shot uh, to deal with beasts or just have your A-shot out 
or your your secondary weapon out to accumulate dirt and then use throwing knives on uh, beasts or just like sneak by them that's usually the best thing to do to be honest um there's no real advantage of there's no real benefit to killing beasts in this game unless they're like guarding a weapon upgrade or they're an active threat uh for the most part you can sprint away from most enemies if you don't want to fight them so yeah that's it for this bastard guide Thank you for checking it out. Uh, overall, I'd say it's a pretty fun weapon to use. You just have to make sure it stays clean and it's completely viable. And definitely don't run it with the pistol because you're going to run out of ammo. So, so yeah, that's it.